What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fancy Feathers. Let's start today's video with Brazilian men's open RV pro, Van Linkton, who is with Altidelt, one of the best talents in the current times after Rafael Brandao from that region. And we saw him do extremely well at Emperor Classic Spain, which happened earlier this year. I believe he was top 3 at that show. But the lack of overall size, especially in that kind of lineup, where we had Michael Crizzo and Andrea Presti as the top 2, that was pretty evident. So well, LinkedIn has pushed things pretty far during this offseason. And with the structure that he has, he really needs more mass. He has a very small waist. His cores flow very well with his physique. And with those striations on his chest, he looks really good. Plus, he is above average height wise for the men's open bodybuilding. So getting blocky in the process of getting bigger, that really isn't a concern for him. He has that kind of frame that allows him to get big. And really, we have been witnessing this shift, especially in the last few years, that so many bodybuilders are crossing that 300 pounds mark. And if I remember correctly, that really wasn't the case back in the 90s or even in the early 2000s. For instance, take the example of William Martins, another Brazilian ivory pro who almost took it to Big Rami's level in the offseason, 340 plus pounds. That is really insane. But unfortunately, that did not translate on the stage at all. The Legion Sports was the contest where we saw William Martins compete, and he wasn't impressive at all at that show. He couldn't even crack top 10. So William Martins is another guy, who is currently weighing close to 310 pounds. And keep in mind, this is his health and recovery phase. He isn't even pushing gear or PEDs at the moment. So according to him and his team, he did not peak well at that one show that he did in 2023. He is an exciting bodybuilder because he is among the biggest freaks out there. And no matter how huge you are, that conditioning will always be the key factor in winning these pro shows. John George was also competing at the Legion Sports. This was his men's open bodybuilding debut. And he was in the 220s as he just moved up from the 212 class. And he just smoked so many of these guys who outweighed him by 60 plus pounds. And that really goes to show us that this isn't a number game. Your weight on the stage does not mean anything if you cannot come in peeled and in a crispy kind of condition. The reigning 212 champion Keon Pearson is enjoying some good food lately, but he isn't skipping his workouts either. The guy isn't even 30 and he has already won his first 212 title. And honestly, he won it sooner than we all expected. And Sean Toyota really did leave the door open for him this time. So that whole idea of trying to get bigger and bringing in more size, that kind of backfired for Sean. So putting on 6 more pounds of muscle on a frame that is already packed with muscles on top of muscle, that did not go well for him. Because we have always talked about this, that there was always the risk of getting blocked here for Sean. Because he has that compact kind of frame and that his waist could get wider. And that really did happen this year. But he can always come back downsized with more detail. And that same grinning look that we saw back in 2022. And Keon Pearson really knows that. He needs to improve every year to stay on the top. But if he is able to do that, no one is really touching Keon, especially in those front shorts. In fact, he is gonna continue to acquire that muscle density, that maturity, that he is still lacking. And once he gets that, he really is gonna be unbeatable in those front shots. I mean, we all saw how he brought up his back from the Olympia last year to this year. And the way he has been super focused after winning this year's Mr. Olympia. How determined he is now. He is gonna be a hot champion to dethrone. Samson Dauda will always be in that discussion of a potential future Mr. Olympia. Always. And yes, I know many people would say that his back needs to come up more if he wants to be the two gentlemen who placed ahead of him, Derek and Hadi Chopo. But here is the thing. It is about the look as well. So, Samson competed a total of 4 times during 2023, and 3 of those times he won, and that included the Arnold Classic Ohio, where he was able to beat Nick Walker, and that is a huge accomplishment. So, it is always a great question to ask an athlete, which was his favorite look. So, here is the answer from Samson Dauda. This year was our last one, was Prague. Yeah, you know what, it was one look that this one was responsible for. But she came up with the idea of just going, coming in a flat, not carving up too much, and just drying out hard. 
proper was a great look for Samsa. He was dry, he was hot, and the judges gave him the perfect score. But you can understand and it makes sense why they wanted to come in bigger at the Olympia. Both him and Milos knew that they are not gonna outcondition Hadi and Derek. So playing a bit of size game and just outmuscle these guys on the stage, that was the strategy. So do let me know what you guys think. Was it the right strategy by Samson and Milos? So hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.